Looks like Pierre Paul Yev went on a little bit of a tirade today on X, just absolutely exposing and destroying the liberal NDP coalition, even though it's supposed to be over. We all know it's not because we have we don't have an election. If Jagmeet Singh really wanted to rip up the agreement, we would be having an election very soon, if not right now. But since he doesn't want to do that, he wants to get his pension. Pierre Polyev is just going, going to continue to absolutely destroy this guy. So, nine years of NDP liberals, not worth the cost. Blame progressives for Canada's hellish homeless encampments. Now, this is an article from National Post. I was reading it earlier. I was going to share that with you guys, but the only problem is, is that it does have some very graphic or disturbing images regarding, you know, some of the illnesses and diseases that some of these uh, homeless folks are are getting. And I don't want to show you that. I know some of you may be eating dinner or having a late night snack when you're watching this, so I don't want to show you those kind of images. But I think you all understand what I mean. If you live in or anywhere near a major city, you can see what's going on in Toronto, Hamilton. If you live in within Toronto and Hamilton, you get to see it up close, not just on the news, not just on TV. You literally, you can't go to a single park in this city without seeing homeless encampments. And you can see, you know, like these, these folks, are, they're not getting enough food. They're, you know, addicted to drugs or they're mentally ill. Or unfortunately, even seniors who just can't cover the cost because their pension isn't good enough. And these people are just being absolutely just abandoned and discarded by this liberal left-wing coalition. They keep saying they care about Can uh, Canadians and that they're Canada first, as they send all of our money to other countries, as they let ho uh, war veterans become homeless. They fought for our country, then they come back and, sorry, we don't have a place for you. We had immigrants are coming here and they're getting what uh, interest-free mortgages on their homes. Now, if you're a war veteran, you help protect this country, especially if you're older, right? If you fought in, you know, World War II. I mean, you're basically, if your pension isn't good enough, you're basically, oh, oh sorry, on the street. You kept us from, you know, the, the likes of Adolf Hitler, but now we're going to have you on the street. Or any other war for that matter. They think they're out there protecting our, our country. And in some cases, they're right. In some cases, no, we get involved in proxy wars. But these soldiers are still so devoted to our country that they're going to go anyway because they think that they're doing the right thing. And they should come home and have a place to live. If you are addicted to drugs, we shouldn't be just putting people on the street. Mental illness, we shouldn't just have these people on the street. But with everything that's been happening, with the rising cost of living, the rising you know, issues with mental health and drug addiction, you're seeing more and more homeless people. We don't have enough affordable housing at all. In fact, in this city, there, there's barely any. And any apartment you try to rent is going to be you know, $1,200, $1,300 at least for a one-bedroom apartment. People just can't afford it. And not everyone has another place to go to. So, I mean, you just see the like, average Canadian's lives is being absolutely destroyed. And the government wants to do absolutely nothing about it. Canada, after nine years of Trudeau NDP policies... Many Canadians are eating less, sharing expensive due to rising cost of living. So again, Pierre Polyev just coming out there exposing these left-wing coalitions, these awful, horrific policies that have led to the average Canadian's lives getting much, much worse. It's almost like it's being done on purpose or something like that, you know what I mean? Canada isn't the country we, we remember anymore after nine years of Trudeau doubling housing costs and bringing crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder to our streets. Not worth the cost. And he actually has a really good uh, meme here. The artists, it's Trudeau and his cabinet, the art. Homeless encampments. I mean, what's a one-bedroom apartment in Toronto for crying out loud? Can you even find one for less than two grand? Like, what are what are people who are just coming out of high school supposed to do? Go and get a job for 17 bucks an hour. And then, okay, let's say you live in a cheaper city like Hamilton. It's still going to be, I mean, 1100 or maybe even 1200 just for a bachelor. It's like 13 14 1500 for a one-bedroom here. You have to work 60 hours a week just to 
live a very, very basic, I would even say below basic life, considering the opportunities that we should have in this country. You're seeing people just having to work their asses off and get nothing for it. They're never buying a house. They're never getting ahead. They got to work all those hours just to maintain a very, very basic life. That's not fair. Not that long ago, I was 20 years old and I moved out of my mom's house. Yes, I had a roommate, essentially my girlfriend at the time. Rent was $700 for a, a, a modest, very modest, I might add, one bedroom apartment in downtown Burlington. That same apartment now is $1,700. This is 16 years ago. It's more than doubled. Wages have went up, what, 2 3 4%? You can't survive. Or you can barely survive. You're not doing anything with your money other than just paying bills. There's only a certain amount. Like, you shouldn't have to work 80 hours a week to get ahead. <clears throat> 40 hours a week should get you an average life, an average apartment, <clears throat> whether it be an average car, bus payment, <clears throat> sorry, bus pass, reasonable groceries, internet connection, phone bill, and a little bit left over to save and some money to spend. I had that opportunity. If you're around my age, we are, the, are essentially the last ones to have that opportunity and it's not even available anymore. So if something happened to you, you got to start over again. Maybe you're my age, something happened, you start over when you're 30. You're essentially starting over as a 20-year-old. Well, those opportunities that we had when we were 20 are gone. And it's not fair to us. We didn't deserve any of this. Although we did vote for it, to be fair. So maybe we, we did deserve a little bit of it. But these people, these MPs, the prime minister, all of his cabinet members are supposed to serve us. And they've served themselves and they've served their elitist globalist overlords. And we've had enough. It's disgusting. We can't have an election soon enough. I don't know when we're going to get it. My prediction is April, May. I really, really hope it's sooner than that. Because Canada, we need change and we need it now. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section about all these um, posts that Pierre Paul have made. Do you agree or disagree with what he says? Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.